These little ornaments started as these Grinch Green garage sale finds. I got two containers, a total of 36 two inch balls for two bucks. In my stash, I had some leftover limestone fusion mineral paint from a hoser cabinet I had. So that's what I used, and I painted my the Christmas balls in that color because it's quite close to the same color as the macrame cord. I just gave it one heavy duty coat uh, so that that bright Grinch green doesn't show throw through on the ornaments. And then after that, what I did is I bought these here from the Dollar Tree. And this here, I got 66 feet or 20 meters of this for, I think it was a buck and a dollar fifty. Okay. And it's macrame cord and this does two of them. Okay. And then what you need is a size, a large size 10 crochet hook. Okay. I've seen these before, but they have been done by just wrapping the twine around and I guess you can do that but this is faster and when you got 36 of them to do you want them faster so what I'm going to suggest you do with these is if you're doing a few of them is I would start by just chaining a whole, the entire spool everything okay the way to do that is we'll do it start it with a single crochet and I'm just going to do it in the camera this time I'm going to take it and wrap it around my fingers like that and pull a loop through. Okay, that's the first step. Then I'm going to use my crochet hook and I'm going to wrap it around and pull it through. Just like that. So you can do it. I like to take, I've been crocheting for a while, so I like to use my hook and wrap it around the thread first. And then just work it like that. It doesn't take very long. Okay, so you just take it and you wrap. You take, you got the hook, you wrap the hook around the thread and pull it through. Okay. And you just keep doing that for the entire length. Okay. Now the really cool thing about crocheting unlike knitting it doesn't unravel the same way and so here i have one that i've already done up okay here's the beginning of it and there's all the, the end okay now if for whatever reason like you do a whole one i'll cut this and i'll show you just for example okay and see i've got i've been working on one and i've got some left over and I want to cut it off and just cut it off like this see and it's not going to unravel the same way you just pull it out and you get a knot at the other end simple as that so you don't have to worry about it unraveling the same okay so do sit one in the evening and you know like I did I don't know three of these and like an hour watching TV. So that's enough for six balls, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'll just show you how to wrap it. Put some tape on around the top here. And you want the first one as close to the top as possible. You're gonna wrap it after taking the top off. I just pulled the top off. And I left it cold the way it came. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to keep going around. Now the only thing that I'm going to be careful of, other than not burning myself, is making it so that the this side of the pattern is on the top the wide one because that makes for a smooth ball your ball will be bigger and it covers a wider area see that 
keep going around here. And you just make sure that it's flat. If I put it in like this, it's not going to be as smooth, see? And it's not going to be as wide. So I want to twist it as I go around and make sure I have the, the wide, flat side showing. want to push it in as close to the one before as you can. Again, being careful of that hot glue because that stuff can be nasty. See here how that twisted? I want to make sure it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to untwist it and put it in here. Okay, now you can use this on your tree. But another pretty way you can do this is use them. Is just put them in a bowl. And I would do the ribbon as well. I will show you that here. So now that we have it almost at the end here, I'm going to cut, cut it like I showed you before. And I'll pick that little extra bit of cord off and I'll pull on it. And it'll form a knot. Now we have to glue the very, very end of this into the bottom of the ornament. We're going to be, begin by cutting a little piece of florist wire and about 12 inches of ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to take my wire, I'll wrap it over my ribbon. Twist it really tight, and then it will have no problem fitting through the opening that originally came. Now, this came with a fairly nice colored gold. If it was silver, I think I would have sprained it. But these ones came gold, so I'm going to use them. So I'm going to thread it, pull my wire off. Tie a little knot at the end. Now, you don't even have to tie your knot on here if you don't want to, right? Because you can put it on your tree at different heights and lengths to suit what style of tree you've got. Here I found that they don't attach too well because the cord's quite thick. 
So what I did for mine was I didn't worry about it. I just gave it a good glue in here. And I put it right on the end. Okay. That's all there is to it. I'm going to let this sit and dry for a few minutes. I'll give you two final pictures. I have an, an, a gold bowl. I'll put them in a bowl and then I'll hang some on the tree for you so you see them. The homespun look of those is just perfect for on my hoser. And this is the hoser that I use the leftover paint from to make them. I think they look great there. Happy Christmas crafting.